And the ball of light came and went up and down my spine. In the middle of the night, I was asleep in my bed, and something woke me from my sleep. The question is... A lot of people right now will only tell you that vampires can only be born and they can't be made. So I unwrapped the tissue paper, and inside it was this fork and spoon. I have no idea where they came from. Is it real or not? and I saw this white smoke coming down from the window onto the floor and it started to roll up onto the bed. People are walking into the Stanley, which is an over-energized hotel, an overpowered hotel, and they're having a skeletal shape change. The question is, is it real or not? Hello, I'm Patrick Burns, and welcome to Paranormal Truth. Many of the people you're about to meet used to be skeptics. However, after experiencing events that they themselves can only explain as supernatural, paranormal, or extraterrestrial, these same people now consider themselves to be nothing less than hardcore believers. Tonight, we will meet these unique individuals as we explore Paranormal Truth. I'm Bill Bean, author of Dark Force, and this is my story. The story began in 1970 when my family and I moved into a three-bedroom ranch-style home located in Glen Burnie, Maryland. What we didn't know that there were already occupants in the house, and these were demonic entities. I had just witnessed my mother being attacked. She was cut open and bruised and scratched, and something snapped inside of me. And I grabbed a Bible and a jar of holy water. And I have no doubt that the, again, the mission from these evil entities really was to kill us. Hello, I'm Robert Burrow, and I'm a licensed marriage family therapist in the state of California. Religious people um, talk about a spiritual involvement in their life, how they've had an interaction with the dark side or the angelic side. Many religious people believe in angels following, looking over them. I'm Diane Garris. I'm clairvoyant, clairaudient, and clairsentient. Clairvoyance is the ability to see into the future. Clairaudience is the ability to hear things. And clairsentient is the ability to know things. In the course of my work, I've encountered many spirits. The strangest thing was one time a man appeared, materialized in my room, told me to please give a message to his brother who was still alive. What happens is when these spirits leave their bodies like this, they don't really realize they're dead. Maybe there's something more to this than we know. Well, I'm Marsha Miller, and this is my story. I took a group of paranormal investigators out to this cemetery. As we were walking, I started hearing these really weird clicking noises in my ear. And at first I was kind of confused by what I was hearing because it didn't sound human. I was with my friend David and he is an automatic writer and he started getting these symbols and writing these symbols down. I could see these forms in the distance of what looked like um, extraterrestrial or alien. It definitely was not um, a human figure. Do I believe in aliens? No. Do I believe aliens have come and visited the earth? No. But I still believe in a spiritual realm. My name's Damien. I'm a vampire. This is my story. Real vampires today are connected to uh, the legend by certain things. Um, the legends of vampires in the past have to do with drink drinking blood and, uh, and, and or in this case, now it's life force. I know a client who was involved um, with a creature of the night. This individual was working on things and realized this uh, 
object of the night gave him a sense of power. I'm Bill Murphy, and my story is the Stanley Effect. The Stanley Effect is a, it's a combination of, of two things. It's the Stanley is the Stanley Hotel, and the effect is the piezoelectric properties of the minerals under the hotel. There's two things that would seem to happen primarily. People were able to record the EVPs of children's voices, and people reported consistently being touched, shoved, pushed, even knocked down. Normal people doing normal things, until along comes a twist. But we want to do more than just retell their stories. We want to meet the ghosts and phantoms these people have encountered, and sometimes even live with every day. We took our cameras, our experts, and lots of specialized equipment on a journey we'll never forget. Perhaps their stories can help you understand your own personal mysteries. Perhaps we can shine the light on what is fiction and what is paranormal truth.